The volume of a cone is 1,809.56 cubic inches. If the radius is 12 inch, what is the height? All right, let's look at the formula for finding the volume of a cone first. And that is the same as the volume of a cylinder, pi r squared times the height, but a cone is a third of that volume. So we should have something like this. Now it did tell us what the volume of the cone was, so let's get rid of that garbage and replace it with the volume that it gave us. And it also gave us the radius, which we can replace as well, with the 12 inches. All right. So we need to solve for h. We're just kind of manipulating this equation. So we'll need to multiply both sides by 3, effectively turning this cone into a cylinder. What that does is it cancels out the 3s, and we get pi. 12 squared is 144 times the height, like this. So what's 3 times the volume there? So if it were a cylinder, that's what we would have. But uh, we need to just solve for the height right here. And to do that, we would want to divide both sides by pi times 144. Because then these will cancel out. But if we do it to one side, we must do it to the other side as well. 144. On some of you guys' calculators, you're going to want to put that in parentheses just so it knows. Otherwise, you'll divide by pi and then divide again by 144. And that does give us the height. That is an exact value. That seems kind of rare for uh, dividing by pi, but uh, I got 12 exactly. Yes, Sophie? On the test, you will need to put inches. And uh, you need to recognize some of you. I know 7th graders do this more than 8th graders, but sometimes I'll see them put inches squared for the height. That would be for area, so don't, don't put inches squared, okay?